My name is Bart Balsens, professor of data science at KU Leuven, Belgium, working on fraud analytics. In fact, I have an intriguing topic to talk about that might help many firms reduce the fraud they are exposed to. Say you open up a newspaper and gather all kinds of numbers in a spreadsheet. These could be sales numbers, stock prices, election results, or any other type of numbers. Next, you look at the first digits of those numbers. How often do you think the first digit would be 1, 2, 3, 4, up until 9? You would expect a uniform distribution, specifying all of these are equally likely, or 1 out of 9, or about 11% of cases. Well, spoiler alert, but most commonly, this is not true at all. Benford's law specifies a different distribution for the first digit of a number. As you can see in this formula, more specifically, according to Benford's law, the probability that the first digit equals 1 is about 30%, while it's only 4% for digit 9. How can we now use this in fraud analytics? Well, when making up numbers, fraudsters are typically biased towards simpler and more intuitive distributions, such as the uniform distribution. Strong deviations from the expected frequencies might indicate that the data is suspicious, possibly manipulated, and hence fraudulent. In all research, we extensively use Benford's law as a screening tool for fraud detection and carefully engineer features that measure any deviations from it to help us in the fight against fraud.